and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together, we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Today Bob. we're going to talk about five exercises to rehab a sprained ankle oh. for good. Yeah, that's as opposed to being for bad. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, baby, free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. We're usually giving something away, but this we have a one-day break. On a Saturday night, yeah. yeah. So go to if it's Sunday, go to it. You'll find it still. We're giving us something away. Or go to Facebook. Yes. It'll be pinned to the top, top of, the of the page, page. the contest. Go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a six-second version of our program. As well as podcasts are out there now. Oh, in these, full great, these are great yeah. podcasts. I must say so myself. Yeah. It's amazing. We got people literally from all over the world. Right, and and real experts. Unlike us. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let's get to the ankle sprain. Ankle sprain, Bob, uh, the most commonly injured joint across the yeah, in the U.S. society and United yeah. States, probably worldwide. I don't know. We didn't get that I, I, stat. I was but, surprised. Uh, uh, I think a lot of people don't even go into the doctor, so it's probably a lot higher than you think. Exactly. And, you know, this whole uh, routine, these five exercises, if it's not a bad ankle sprain, you, you can use this and you'll rehab yourself and you should be just fine. But pay attention. Be uh, very closely to what we say. First thing you want to do uh, after you sprain your ankle and uh, – Let's say if you cannot walk on it because it hurts yet um, and you don't think you need to see the doctor, the first thing you want to do is range of motion. So we call these the ABCs. Pretend on your toe right there, there's a piece of chalk and there's a chalkboard there. Uh, younger people probably don't even know what a chalkboard is they anymore. They probably don't. <laughs> and you're going to make the letter A. There's a stylus on the end. <laughs> A style, what's that? That's for a computer. Oh, that's right. So you're going to make a capital A, make the cross. And the reason we use letters, capital letters, because it, it forces your ankle to move larger motion. And you're doing all the planes of the ankle, uh, the, the joint planes of the ankle, in other words, the motions. Uh, I'm at C. And sometimes when you start, by the time you get to D or F or E or wherever, your ankle's starting to get sore, it's tired, and then you quit. Then the next day you do it again or later on in the day, and you can find out, oh, I was at F, I was tired, now I can go up to M. And you can use the alphabet to, to calculate your calculate progress. progress. Right. And once you can, you know, get through that and it's feeling pretty good, and you can start to walk on it a little bit, but kind of limp in a little bit, then it's but time. Let me make the point, Brad. Oh, uh, sure. We do have a video on uh, how to tell one of the things you things to look for, whether or not you have a fracture in your Sure. Ankle. So that's not the worst thing to do because sometimes when you can't walk on it, yep. you need to have an x-ray. Right. I mean, so not always, but no. sometimes. Right. Yeah. So if it, you cannot walk on it and you continue to, oh, yeah, you better get an yeah. x-ray and get it confirmed. Um, but this is a case where you can walk on it. It's clear it's getting better, but you need to get it better faster. Yeah. So the next thing you're going to do is simply see if you can do toe-ups. Plantar flexion is probably the primary strengthening ankle range of motion. That means lifting the heels up. Yep, at this point. We've got some other ones that are important too, but right now. And then you can actually pull back this way and do a full rock. Um, hold on to something for balance if you need to. And once it gets too easy, you can do 10, 15 of these and it's not so bad anymore. Just go to the sprained ankle and try that. That will be harder. <laughs> That is harder. Yeah. And if you're not sure how strong it really is, compare it to the good ankle. And if you can do like 20 on the good side easily and on the sore one, uh, you get to about 10 and it's kind of sore or tired, uh, painful, you know, compare right to left until you get, so they're just about even. Then the next one, you want to strengthen the lateral muscles, side to side motion, which is probably more uh, important at this point than what we just went through. And we have a sophisticated name for it called the Ziggy Zaggy. Ziggy Zaggy, and you'll see why in a minute. But see, most, 90% of the ankle sprains are inverted or the way my right. ankle is rolling this way. Turning in like this. So we need to strengthen the perineal muscles here. As Going well as, out. Yes. Like that. Right, get that muscle strong. And 
uh, without getting fancy with uh, some there, you know, some stretch bands or some fancy equipment, you can simply put your shoes on. You can do it on carpet or a floor that gives resistance. Well, the carpet gives resistance. Yeah. A floor might too. It depends on sure. your, your, the sole of your yeah, shoe. Yeah, right. Exactly. But it's amazing how much this works, not only your ankles, but your legs and your yeah, hips. Yeah, you get, the legs get tired. Yeah. And we want to strengthen not only the ankle, but all these other muscles because it will help in the long run. Again, you can't do it if it's painful. Exactly. You should be pain-free when yep. you can go, you know, five feet this way and five feet back this way and it's not so bad anymore. The pain is gone. Then go to just the painful or the sprained ankle and you're going to notice that's a lot harder you're going to need something to hold on to mm -hmm. uh, hold on to a cupboard a cane the booyah stick whatever you have and so that you're working on strength and you're actually working a little bit on your balance and proprioception too which was is the next one Brad? right yeah so some of these carry over, carry over from one right. to the other that's why it's a wonderful program i think uh the next one oh proprioception you mentioned that didn't you yes i did you were reading it though yeah i was no he, we all know that as therapists so here's my sprained ankle right there look at those socks they match they match your well, shoes you know, what you're going to find out brad is this is a good one to test one ankle versus the other right. ankle. um because you're going to find out when i seen someone who has chronically sprained ankle yep. and they try to stand on that one yeah, they get wobbly. Yeah. yeah, Alex was a good example. Remember that? You ever see his? Oh yeah, he had terrible ankles. Like he he couldn't stand on one leg. What was his last name? Colmeyer. Oh, Colmeyer. Colminer. Anyways, Cole Miner, yeah. so you're gonna stand on one foot, and again, you can do this on your good leg first. You're gonna touch out here, touch over here, touch here. Now he's got the booyah stick here. for balance, yep. but you could use a countertop yep. or anything. Yeah, on your good ankle, if you're younger or had you know athletic. You, you could probably, with your good ankle, this shouldn't be a problem, but you'll right. find on your sprained ankle, whoa. It's you're gonna, right. Yeah. That's weird. The, um, and that's a good test. So you're, you may only reach out here to start out with, and that's going to be a little challenge. And as you get better, you'll go farther as you can, and then back to without the cane. And hopefully, if that's where you were, that's where you're going to get to. That's the goal. You do look like Fred Astaire. Fred Astaire. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> they, they might know who Fred Astaire is. Yeah. Now, the next one is once you can do that, we need to get some impact into sure. a job. Uh, so I'm going to... Because you, especially you want to go back to sports, we want to make sure your, your ankle is able to tolerate like hopping and jumping. Right. That's a big difference. It is a big difference. I'm going to put this down. This is just a loop strap, but you could put anything down on the floor except for I wouldn't use something round. Well, you could sprain your ankle. Yeah, on. you could fall down again. So something that if you land flat, on it. Like it, a yardstick would yeah, work, right? Or sometimes I'll put tape down or if you have yeah, that, lines that's on the floor. Yeah, the best ideas. Yeah. Right. Lines on the floor that are in the floor, you know, because sure. that's the design of the floor. But you need something visual. You're going to hop over like this and hop back. And see how it feels. If there's no sure. pain in the ankle, see if you can do it continually. And you can do that for up to 30 seconds. If you can do it at 30 seconds and your sprained ankle feels fine, that's good. Then the next step is turn side to side, yeah. right? And take your time with this. Just test it. it felt okay. Oh, it hurt a little bit going that way. Give it a couple yep, of days. Yep, exactly. Go back to the ziggy zaggies and then the balance one we just did. Then come back to this. And when it gets to the point where you can do this for 30 seconds, no pain, excellent. Then you go one foot, test it out. Uh, it's okay, no pain. I feel pretty stiff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, better get this. And always no pain. It should feel stable. Then... 15 to 30 seconds this way, no pain. 15 to 30 seconds this way, no pain. You're probably back to walking pretty stable by then. So we got the zigzaggies. We call these the hoppy hoppies. 
So the hippity hops. <laughs> hippity hops. I like it. Now there is a test. If you want to do it and you want to get back to the a high test. level activity, uh, if you Google Bob and Brad sprained, this is if you type it in sprained ankle, when is it safe to return to activities? I give you a test that you can actually calculate right. uh, one leg to the other. And that's right. the one I use with my patients all yep, the time. I it, do too. It works very well. I'll go with that video. If you're just going to be walking around, you're not right. into high activities. You don't need to do that. This is for, yeah, if you're trying to return to sports and. and Didn't I say that? I think so. <laughs> I like to re reinforce things. <laughs> that you saying. really should because I might forget anything. <laughs> sometimes I think I said something. Sometimes I think I'm somewhere. I didn't even, like yesterday, I don't know where I was. Oh, my wife and I get in this argument. That's our normal argument. It's like, you said this, and I yeah. said, no, I didn't. Yeah. And she said, yes, you did. <laughs> this has got nothing to do with sprained ankles yeah. anyways. Uh, this right. will get you through. It'll, it'll make your ankles strong forever. And be careful and Remember, Bob, we can fix just about anything except, except for, for a broken heart and, we and are, a broken marriage. <laughs> so Yeah, and we are working on that. Is there something yeah, you're not telling me no, about? No, I'm not telling you. <laughs> All, All right. right. Thanks.